guess what? I'm not McDonald's, and you can't have it your way. And because of that, I'm loving it, you're loving it, and we're loving it. We're loving it. Yeah! Hey friends, I'm Joe Kraleski, the super brave teacher, the super brave gay teacher who would love for you to click like on this video, would love for you to share this video, would love for you to subscribe for free to this channel, and would love for you to just give this video good word of mouth, let people know. My guess is you have more connections than I do. Yeah, you do. So, connect me with those people. Thank you. Back to the story. Hey super brave friends, hi! We are, I am, officially two weeks into school and it has been going awesome. I am exhausted, it is hard work, but it is worth it and it has been so much fun. And right away, something I hear all the time is, Senor Carlosi, it just seems like you keep having such nice, awesome, brave, curious, smart classes. You get so lucky. And I listen, I say, Thank you, we do have a great, super brave, awesome, curious, intelligent, kind class. And it is two things. It is nature, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you parents for being awesome and doing such amazing hard work that I will, I do not yet understand, but it is very appreciated. And it is also nurture, so it is me on my end nurturing these kids, realizing that they're not iPhones, I can't just reprogram them in a day, but I can nurture them like an olive branch, I can trim the olive branch to be their best, brave, boldest, brightest, buh, 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 self, right? And part of that, and part of the way that I get that to happen is that I am, once again, firm, fair, and friendly, but in that firm, fair, and friendliness, I don't give them choices. And usually, when people hear that, they're like, flexible learning, but what about, but, but what if they don't like the choice you give them? But what if, but what if, but what if? But what if nothing? Stop, 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 because, oh, oh wait, I just checked in my, with myself, and I'm the adult. That sounds harsh, but it's the truth. I am the adult, and I know what is best for a child. Guess what a child doesn't have? a frontal lobe. They do not know how to make super awesome choices yet. They will, they will, but I do not need a child to be an 18 year old already when they're five. Let them make a super awesome choice, which is guided by me, right? So on the first few weeks, guess what the choice is? One choice, one choice. Right now we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this. Right now we're gonna do this, and right now we're gonna do this. One choice. But I don't, nope. We're doing this and we're doing this. We're doing this and we're doing this. And guess what? Day one, it freaks their little brains out because they're used to having so much choices at home and getting whatever they want. Nope, not here. You're gonna do this and gonna do this. Day two, they're like, we're gonna do this and then uh, can I? Nope, we're gonna do this. Day three, they're all of a sudden in this routine and structure. And then, probably next week or in a few weeks, I'm gonna say, now friends, cause you have been rocking out that one choice and doing it well, you can either do this or you can do this. I didn't give them a list of 20 things to choose from, I gave them two because once again, they do not know how to decipher between 20 things and they're probably gonna go for the brightest, shiniest thing ever. iPad, ding, 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 ding. Reading a book, eh because they don't even know how awesome it is to read all these new books we have in the classroom, for example, right? So you can either do this, or you can do this, and you got 15 minutes to do it. See this time frame? I am holding you in this beautiful space, and you get to make two awesome choices. So you can either read your book and look at its illustrations, or you can draw some illustrations and start labeling those illustrations. How great does that feel? This or this? Ah. My brain doesn't have to stress out, I do not have to worry, and especially for kids who don't have a lot of structure at home or have a lot of other hard things going on at home, it feels so good for them to not have a choice. The example I always give with parents is you don't tell kids, do you want broccoli or ice cream? You say, would you like broccoli or carrots? Or sometimes, it's just broccoli, and we're all eating broccoli, okay? 
Now you can always be flexible with this. I'm not saying that you have to be little soldiers and we're all sitting crisscross applesauce and we're all doing this. I get to be flexible within that choice. So we're doing the same thing, but how we do it is different. Maybe some friends are working standing up. Maybe some of them are working on their belly. Maybe some of them need a special pencil or some of them need a magic eraser, whatever that is, but they're all doing the same thing. It's the exact same objective for all, right? And that feels so good for them, but also so good for me because now my job is being the super brave teacher, which I am, and not the super brave, okay, plate spinner, okay, you're doing this and I gotta spin this plate and you're doing this and you're doing this. What did I even tell you you could do? No, I get to guide them where they are going. And eventually, yes, they will get two to three choices, but that is it. I used to have a list of like, once you're done, these are the 10 things you can do to keep going. And I realized it's impossible for kids to do that. Three is really the magic number with kids. Two is for little kids, the magic number, this or this. Three, once they get older, and I would even push through adulthood. Three is a great number. We can do this, this, or this. But once I start, you know, Doing too much, it's too much. Do you want Chinese food, Japanese food, Korean food? Well, we got a barbecue place around the corner, we got vegetarian, da, 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 and all of a sudden your stomach's like, I don't even know what I want, I just want to make a choice. Right? And it is the same with kids. So remember friends, I am not McDonald's. You do not get it your way, you get it my way because I am the super brave, awesome teacher and I'm gonna fight for you because you are awesome and worth it. And it is the same with parents. You are the super brave parent and you get to have it your way because you are the parent and you know your kid and you know them so well. And kids don't even know what they like yet because they're, little, they're kids, right? So of course they have their obsession of the week or the obsession of the day, but it's gonna shift and change because they don't know what games they play in Argentina. They don't know what music sounds like in France. They don't know these things yet and we get to show them, right? One choice at a time. So thank you for listening to this video. I'm loving it. I hope you're loving this video. If you do love it, like it, share it, tweet it, pin it, snap it, I don't know, Facebook it. It means so much and it sends a great message to Google and YouTube that LGBTQ plus teachers and students are important and we need voice and we need visibility. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You are awesome. And it's not easy. It's not easy to do this limited choices thing. It's really hard sometimes you're like, oh, I just wanna give in. That's the time to not give in. When your body's like, oh, I just wanna give in. That's when you gotta push harder because they are worth it, you are worth it. I'm rambling, blah, blah, blah. Bye friends.